Welcome to our research presentation. Me and my team will be with you for 10 minutes forward. Our focus for today are study on the development of forensic blood substitute, focusing on the blood stain pattern analysis. Hi, I'm Dini. So this is our main research article, has our reference. The objective of this research was to develop a forensic blood substitute that is more similar to human blood and more practical than previous product. And thus, the blood substitute developed here may be applied to a blood stain pattern analysis for education and relevant experiment of various study in the forensic science. Before we proceed with the research, I want to briefly explain what is blood substitute is as this is the primary reason for our interest in employing blood stain pattern analysis. A blood substitute is an artificial blood. As a result, the discovery of acceptable blood substitute that can replace human blood can significantly aid in the advancement of forensic science and blood stain pattern analysis. The similarity between physical quality and the trait blood stain characteristic with human blood is very critical in the creation of blood substitute. It will be more efficient if numerous functions for the actual uses of blood substitute are supplemented. Blood stain pattern analysis is the interpretation of blood stain at a crime scene in order to recreate the action that cause of blood sheet. Analysts examine the size, shape, distribution and the location of the blood stain to form opinion about what did or did not happen. Experiment and instruction concerning blood stain pattern analysis are conducted utilizing participant blood. Animal blood obtained from the battery and the blood substitute created in other countries. Human blood problem include subject objection to blood sampling, the possibility of offensive odor and the composition, also the risk of the biological infection. In order to develop a forensic blood substitute that is more similar to human blood and more practical than the previous product, it is important to analyze a few criteria which are its physical properties, treat blood stain properties and impact angle. As for physical properties, there are three major measurements which are viscosity, surface tension and density in order to observe the similarity between individual blood substitute and hemoglobin. Viscosity describes the relations between force applied on the fluid and the rate at which the fluid particles can be separated from each other or deform. If a fluid has a high viscosity, it will not flow as easily as a fluid with a low viscosity because this relates directly to the strength of the attraction between the fluid molecules. Viscosity of the blood decreases with increasing temperature and decreasing hematocrit. It also lowers with a higher shear, which is why it is classified as a shear thinning new Newtonian fluid. This is why blood appears watery when it hits a surface then right after it leaves the body. Meanwhile, surface tension describes the energy required to change the shape of a fluid when it comes into contact with another fluid in which it is not miscible. Example, blood and air. is play a big role in the formation of spherical blood droplets as they fall as well as as the way they react when they hit a surface. Surface tension can also be affected by outside factors such as temperature and the presence of chemicals in the blood. The third measurement is density, which represents a fluid mass per unit volume, which allows for comparison between substances. The reference for comparison is usually water, since it has a density of 1 gram over centimeter 3. The next criteria is the three blood stain pattern characteristic, which were compared between the hemoglobin and the blood replica sample. In order to find out the perfect composition of blood replica that is similar to hemoglobin, three blood stain pattern on different surfaces, especially the diameter and shape of the blood tree, were analyzed for each blood sample. Single drops of blood will produce small spatters around the parent stain as a result of streaking around the target surface. Spatter produced in this manner is referred to as satellite spatter or satellite stain. The last criteria is the coordinate characteristic of tree stain impact angle. When a force and impact is applied on a source of liquid blood, an impact pattern is created around this event. The angle of impact is the acute angle formed between the direction of a blood drop and the plane of the surface it strikes. After the impact, the resulting blood droplets move through the air like a sphere. If a drop of blood hit the surface at an angle, it creates an ellipse. The line of the blood stain is the hypotenuse, while the width is the opposite side of the angle of impact. The angle of impact can be calculated from the measurement of the opposite side, which is the width, and the line is hypotenuse of the blood stain. 
I will present this presentation by presenting the technical use in this research paper. In order to recreate a crime scene, let's take pattern analysis. One of the fields of forensic science examines the physical properties of blood stains, such as their size, shape, and distribution. A blood stain pattern analyzer should develop the skill necessary to understand the process that caused blood stains and identify their characteristic through experimentation and education. Blood stain pattern analysis enables one to not only reconstruct the crime scene of a bloody murder, but also determine the authenticity of a suspect's statement and assume a suspect depending on the case. Based on the journal analysis, different types of human blood substitutes and human blood were used for reproducing blood stain patterns and also reproducing luminal reaction intensity which were developed and sold by foreign companies. Fresh whole blood taken from a healthy 30-year-old individual has been used as the human blood in this examination. The measurement of each physical properties mentioned earlier were performed by using four different types of instrument which are viscometer, a rheometer, a density meter, and a tension meter. On the side of my video, you could see different type of blood stain pattern on three different surfaces. The three blood stain pattern characteristics were analyzed on different surfaces by using human blood and four different types of forensic synthetic blood substitute that has different physical properties. To perform the test upon different surfaces, a sheet of A4 size paper, a non-porous surface glass plate, and a stainless steel plate were used. Each of the blood samples was stripped on the different surfaces 10 times under the same condition of temperature 20 degrees Celsius with a volume of 20 microliter, height of 30 cm and 90 degree angle to generate the drip blood stain. So, the first rheological characteristic that was measured is the change of viscosity. Viscosity is the measurement of the thickness and stickiness of an individual's blood. As you can see, the data above, the viscosity of an FBS is similar to human blood compared to the other blood substitute. Blood is a viscoelastic fluid, meaning that it possesses both viscous and fluid characteristics. For your information, Viscous component is largely caused by the viscosity of blood plasma, whereas the elastic component is caused by red blood cell deformation. So, it is very important to measure viscoelasticity in order to produce blood substitute that have same properties as the human blood. Based on the data gained, the results show that the viscoelasticity of the NFBS was more similar tendency to the human blood. This viscous effect could predict the impact velocity that play an important role in blood pattern analysis. Blood forms a spherical shape almost immediately upon separating from the blood source. The spherical shape is caused by the surface tension of the blood by pulling the blood drop in both horizontally and vertically. The surface tension will maintain the sphere shape of the blood drop until it impacts with the surface. Based on the results, and FBS has the most similar surface tension with human blood, but do not have the similar density as human blood. Same goes to the other blood substitutes. In this research, the pattern of blood drip was compared on three different surfaces, such as paper, glass, and stainless steel. The type of surface that free falling blood strikes affects the appearance of the resulting spatter. As you can see in this picture above, Hard, non-porous surfaces will produce circular stain patterns that have smooth edges but softer. Porous surfaces will produce spatter stains that are scalloped or have rough edges. This is because there is less blood spatter from a blood droplet that has fallen on a hard, non-porous surface than compared to a blood droplet landing on soft surface. Based on the picture and data, you can see that an FBS have same circular shape and similar diameter on both glass and stainless steel. This might be due to the almost similar surface tension value. Next, the angles that we use for comparison of the coordinate characteristic of drip stains impact angle are from 20 degree to 70 degree. As a result of the experiment, blood stain pattern with acute angle of impact produce more elongated, elliptical or oval in shape. The more acute the angle of impact, the more elongated the stain. The resulting blood stain's shape will determine the direction of travel for the stain and thus the origin of the drop of blood. The tail or with cast off of the blood stain generally points to the direction of travels of the blood drop. The direction travel and the angle of impact are referred to as the directionality of a blood stain pattern. 
the directionality of blood stain will be used for reconstructing where the bloodshed occurred. Based on the data showed, all blood substitutes simulated impact angles at 50 degree, 60 degree, and 70 degree show similar results to those of human blood. However, with acute angles of 20 degree, 30 degree, and 40 degree, an FBS shows similar results in comparison with human blood than the others. To conclude, in comparison to other blood substitute products developed in other countries, the physical properties of the NSPS, including viscosity, viscoelasticity, and the surface tension, as well as its thread blood stain pattern on different surfaces and coordinate characteristics of thread stain impact angle, were more similar to those of the human blood. Furthermore, the NSPS developed in this study is more practical because the material used in its preparation are readily available on the market and do not contain any chemicals that are harmful to the human body. And the MSPS has the luminal reaction functionality and pattern transfer blood stain, such as blood stain fingerprint, blood stain footprint, and etc. Although the finding of viscosity and viscoelasticity are generally close to those of other blood substitutes, it is impossible to prove that they are extremely similar to human blood, and verification by measurement will be required even under low circumstances of less than one second. Position should be supplemented by mixing erythrocyte substitute at appropriate prices that meet the practical purpose, quantitative analysis through the expansion of the number of human blood samples in consideration of the physical characteristic of each person's blood and the reliability through change in physical property due to the use of the anticoagulants. That's all from us. Thank you for watching.